Hi guys, welcome to Panzer Ace Gaming. Today I'm going to do a review of my build of a 15mm scratch built World War II era factory. So the factory itself sits on a thin piece of aluminum to give it the support that it requires. The buildings are made out of this product, a chipboard I found in the back of some three ring binders. This stuff's an eighth of an inch uh, thick and will give you the strength necessary to build a project like this. Don't be confused with the, um, these, the veneer that is available in uh, some of the craft stores. That's a much product. Or this stuff, which is clipboard, chipboard, I guess. And this is wood. You, you can't cut that with a knife. So once I get everything cut out, I um, will use my trusty PVA go-to glue here. This stuff's awesome. It dries matte matte, and the structure gives you it's strong, right? It'll give a nice hard finish to things. Everything here is assembled with that PVA glue. Once I get everything together, then I paint it, I let it dry, and then I paint it again, but not too much, you don't want any runs, and I sprinkle on a concrete powder, I sip that on there, I let that dry, give it a light brush uh, to remove any residual, you don't want too much of that fine powder left, and then add your texture. You can see over here there's some black, that's actually charcoal, like aquarium charcoal, ground up, and then just brush it on there. It gives a nice layered see-through kind of effect. And it's black. It's, it represents soot. And then there's other grinds and like that. So you can do your weathering to complete that. Once your weathering's done, remember these are powder. So seal it with a, a light spray uh, of a, a matte finish. Not too much. You can always add later. You know, you can add a little bit more layer because you don't want to. You don't want to pick up a shine. So you want to seal it with some satin or sorry, some matte spray, right? And that will keep the powders onto your project. So when you bang it or something, it doesn't all shed off on you. So the components, the other components here is this tin roof. This is actually tin. So it's a nice strong piece. It will stand up for usage for gaming. This is a gaming piece. And it looks the part. You just carve, carve in there where you're basically your whatever pattern you want. I've carved some rectangular in there. And down here you'll see pieces that are represent. Uh, rectangular roof section that have blown off because the roof has obviously been knocked off this thing and that allows access for for gaming purposes because you can put your units in there so the floor itself comes out um, you can see various components there you can see some of the uh, I'm talking like that some of your roofing type material you paint everything at the same time right so you don't get variation in your color and then cut it out and then crumple it up different different sizes pieces like that remember there is replicating the damage right again some HO products here this is railway again ports over nicely uh, various other ones crates like that and then again some more of your rubble the industrial rubble you can see some different sizing there and then layered in there with some wood and stuff and build it up so it's rubble right and of course this is you can plunk this back in there and you can get at the bottom, we'll have a look at the, we'll do the fly over here in a minute, but uh, so that's removable, so it, accessibility. Uh, this piece here, the chimney, actually removable because it's quite a large piece, right? Um, you know, to store that or move that around, you're probably going to end up having some problems. So it pops out. This is your standard, uh, your standard inside a, a aluminum foil or saran wrap, that kind of product. You get this nice hard cylinder. Uh, this one fortunately doesn't have, I may have, I may have sanded this down, doesn't have a lot of that pad, that spiral pattern. And then of course paint it and texture, like this is actually uh, lime out of your garden, the powdered lime, put on there, wet paint, let it dry. Gives you a different texture, different coloration. Uh, uh, HO scale ladder and uh, just a piece of brick and brac out of the recycle bin to finish off your, and a, you've got a nice chimney. You can also use... Um, PVA piping from the hardware store, it's a white PVA, or um, like I found fireworks cylinders in the field one time, actually the, 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 the round cylinders from fireworks, are there's all different sizes and they're strong, right? And some of them you can just paint them and you're good to go. So it's part of the kit bashing, so whatever you can find, but that's the, so there's different options there. The charcoal, that's a standard charcoal, like railway charcoal, just Pile it on there, PVA glue. Remember when you use your PVA glue to, uh, you got to dilute it and you put a drop of soap in it or it won't flow. It'll just kind of pool up on you, right? 
So you want to do that, give it a spritz of wet water, i.e. water with a drop of, of soap in it, but not too much because you want to flood your project, right? And then come in with your diluted uh, PVA. I, I, I think we were, we were diluting at about like two, two thirds to one third kind of thing, maybe 50, 50. You'll have to see, but just, yeah, so float on there and it'll lock it all down, right? Same with over here, you got this industrial grade uh, not cat litter. If you use cat litter, don't use, don't do not use the clumping cat litter, or it will clump once you add the moisture. So this is an uh, industrial grade uh, oil absorbing. You probably get it at like some of the, like auto st stores, like uh, you know, guys that sell like grease and oil, like a Walmart or something, maybe whatever like that. But it's an industrial grade, so it's got different sizes of uh, text, different sizes pieces in it. And then of course you can just, uh, I just weathered this, or I stained it to uh, give it some different coloration, that kind of thing, whatever, browns, grays, give it a bit of a wash or a spritz of, uh, uh, you can even have spray the wash on or get, and what you're, what, I, what you're after, what I'm after is a nice mottled effect. You don't want uniformity, you want some nice mottled grays and browns, that kind of stuff. And just pile it in and then bury your other stuff and integrate it so that's the last stuff that comes down in there, fills up the gaps. And then once again, a, a light spritz of water, wet water, not too much, just a little bit, and then flood your PVA, your diluted PVA in there, and it'll lock it down. You can even do it in sections, right? Just don't, not too much. You don't want to end up with having issues. So you can always add more later, but not too much, right? Um, we talked about accessibility uh, because this is a gaming piece, and you can see some 15 mil, uh, here's a Panther tank and an infantry unit. So you can see how it scales out. And as far as scalability, you just I, I just measured up what I figured would look good proportionally and assembled it from there, whatever I thought would look good. Uh, you can see some other I put I put later as an a later effect I put veg vegetation here. Initially I didn't have any uh, vegetation, but I found it really pop popped up the piece, it added a lot of uh, depth to it. But if you want more of a ruined effect, more combat effect, that it's been more through more of a battle, then you can just emit the uh, you can emit any vegetation. It's pretty standard stuff. You got like tufts of grass and some clump foliage, that kind of PVA glue it in. It's it's all good, right? And then all the different uh, all the different detail that you can add. The more detail, it's the devil's in the detail. That's where you. Like these guys here, these gears out of a printer, somebody, you know, printer's toast. I popped it open and it was a treasure trove of all these small little gears, right? All plastic, small gears. Painted them up. I was like, wow, that that's perfect. Throw them in there, right? It's all good. And that's part of the uh, part of the process, right? Make things make things you want the way you want them, and that's the part of the beauty of it, right? It's, Okay guys, here we're going to zoom in a bit and see a little bit some of the detail that may not have shown up as well in the uh, overall video there. So we can get in a little bit closer and see some of the items that uh, this here is actually some metal strapping that was all rusty and stuff. Uh, it's got a nice patina so I cut it up and it, it looks apart. It's metal, rusted metal. Here's the charcoal so you can pile that on there. That's just like railway grade charcoal. And then you'll you'll see in here. I was talking about the different type of uh, industrial um, grade um, oil absorber. It's kind of like equivalent to the cat litter sort of thing, but it's all modeled in that. So put that in there. And these guys here are uh, I believe theirs was actually just straws. So that's your standard straw painted up. And there again, some little metal strips I found, uh, some railway components, again, it's the bogey. And again, some just a little stir stick, some different sizes and stuff like that. So you can paint those up out of that. These guys here are actually off the end of an electrical um, plug. So you buy a new appliance or something like that, toaster. Check for those little guys, because that's, <laughs> that's where those came from. And they make a great little um, bulk bulk or stopper kind of things. So yeah, just brick and brack, adds more detail. So some barrels and bits of wire and stuff. A little HO cylinders there for like railway cylinders, oxy cylinders. 
more stuff in the, inside the building. And of course, once we move in, you just pop this guy out of here and you can see more detail inside. Like you got a stairway coming up and just different things you can add that'll uh, it'll pop the detail, right? And uh, the more detail, um, the more sellable it is, I figure. So, so there you go, gang. That's a flyover and more detail inside and what your what the overall uh, layout is of the structure. Right. It's it's yeah. So, um, so I think that's the project, guys. Uh, I. If you got any questions, hopefully you found something of use and found it interesting. But uh, yeah, like uh, any questions, comments, just just put them down there, and uh, hopefully it was a good thing. So, all right. So um, next till next build, take care and uh, stay safe.